Morning, it's Kelly Lemon, live from the VVN studio, and welcome to the first ever A1 Minute, where I'm highlighting the things you need to know from the RTD, brought to you by Brown Distributing. All right, let's get this Monday started. We're just one day away from Election Day in Virginia. And the Richmond Times Dispatch has got all of your 2021 coverage at richmond.com. And don't forget to tune in live at 8 p.m. tomorrow night on our website to watch all the election night results with a few of the RTD staff and studio to break down what it all means. And over at VCU, they plan to erect a six-story office building on the narrow plot of West Broad Street to house the university's computer center. The total cost, which will be split by the university and the state, is $42 million. And no answers on what comes next for the displaced Grace Place tenants in downtown Richmond. Last week, the fire marshal and city code inspectors deemed it unsafe for residents. 42 of the 58 units were occupied at the time. And fearing that RPS employees are on the brink of burnout, even leaving, Superintendent Jason Cameron announced late in October that the school system will be closed this week in the interest of the employees. But Richmond parents find this a burden as they scramble to find childcare for these extra mental health days. And in sports, from the weekend, UVA falls to BYU. Tech snaps a three-game losing streak. William & Mary upsets number four Villanova. And that Washington football team, they lost by seven to the Broncos. And that's just to name a few. All your scores and highlights are at richmond.com. All right, that's it. I'm really trying to keep these two around a minute. So log on to richmond.com and follow us at RTD News on social for more. I'll talk to you tomorrow during another A1 Minute brought to you by Brown Distributing.